launch a main website, self host, or all in one hosted platform. platform. They either think one of the most common debates for people just not creating their blog is whether to use a self hosted solution, these getting have your been own the most common hosts, extensions and for a long time, word and any big and reputable one of the all in one website platforms out there. For most Both people, this is what we would highly cons, recommend. So as let's they dive are the deeper most into each engine one. friendly and using it to remember one when verbally telling builder. someone what your blog is. What are is? the other options that one of the main when creating their most website of the good domains have already, already been registered in the past or hosted because the internet has been that will take for care of all now. the technical details So if you want you. one of the top so level domain extensions, chances are you some either have to buy an existing off, domain from an outside some of the other ones can scale much larger if you really take off and get a ton of traffic to your blog. Pros. Easy. These tools have made it the easiest possible to get started blogging right away. No needing to set up hosting, register domains, etc. Affordable. Most platforms are super affordable between $10, $20 per month, so you won't break the bank. Pre-configured and maintained, everything is already pre-set up and maintained for you, so you don't have to worry about your site at all. Cons. More expensive than self-hosting, our top hosting recommendations start at $3, $5 per month, so at $10, $20 per month, these are significantly more expensive over time. Not as flexible. If you're looking at launching multiple websites, or may want to do other things, subdomains, email, etc., these builders usually aren't as easy to work with. Pay for each site, with shared hosting, you can launch as many websites as you want for the same hosting cost. With site builders, you'll have to pay for each and every site you create. 